Roosevelt and Churchill met on a battleship uh, and they issued jointly what was called the Atlantic Charter. It had been drafted by Sumner Wells and this is Sumner Wells typed copy of the original with uh, of a draft with Franklin Roosevelt's corrections. Uh, Wells was FDR's policy chief at the State Department, not Cordell Hull, the Secretary of State. Certain common principles on which they based their hopes for a better future for the world. This was what we were fighting for, and this became the standard for all representatives of Franklin Roosevelt, and it was rejected by all of his opponents, domestic and abroad, that is, the real opponents. But this, this was the rallying point, the Atlantic Charter. They respect the right of all peoples to choose the form of government under which they will live, and they wish to see sovereign rights and self-government restored to those who have been forcibly deprived of them, and to bring about uh, improved labor standards, economic advancement, and social security. British Empire leader Winston Churchill doesn't apply to our empire. This, he said this. This is in a speech in London in 42. Let me make this clear in case there should be any mistake about it. I have not become the king's first minister uh, to preside over the liquidation of the British Empire, that society of nations and communities gathered in and around the ancient British monarchy.